Hello and welcome. Again, I was trying to use the numpad. It's just a force of habit. Um, so we are going to be going to the Tower of Veils. I'm pretty sure I tried the Tower of Veils. Um, also, it just occurred to me that we do, in fact, still have three dungeons left because we got to do the Tower of Veils, the Necro uh, Necropolis, and um, oh god, Amber is gonna come in um and the jest we gotta go to do the jest again uh, we gotta do the jest again Ooh, we gotta do the jest again Ooh, isn't that fun oh i like the jest so much fun uh don't don't let my cynicism ruin your day the jest though looking forward to the jest so looking so forward to the jest forward Oh, anyway. Uh, how are you? How are you doing? Um, let me know in the comments. Fishing. Oh, I'm sorry. I just like love this meme. I, I, I I'm just gonna like really, really beat this horse. Um, it's not dead yet, but it will be soon, and then I will continue beating it. Oh no, the fire! Oh, the fire! We found a chest key, undoubtedly for this chest here. Large potion of healing. I'll always take a large potion of healing. Thank you. Need a steel key. Okay. Oh, God. This is going to be the dungeon of shiny bugs, isn't it? Not a fan of the dungeon of shiny bugs. Okay, let's do a... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, commenter, that let me know. Hey, uh, you can... Forehead, you can use that there, uh ability that just like shows you all of the secrets and then you don't have to oh wow ow do ow um let's back up owl shoot um i should use a potion where's the potion 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 where's the potion uh, ba, ba, ba. where is it? Potion of healing. Drink. All right, we shall assist. I love that I can shoot through my wolf. And of course I was gonna say that. And as I was saying it, the wolf navigated the enemy away. So I couldn't fire at the enemy anymore. They may fix that. That might be something that gets patched. Empty flask, huh? I definitely think we have um, better means of, like, getting through this dungeon than we did when previously I tried. I just feel, I'm feeling it, you know? I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. That episode, by the way, like, I, I occasionally reference that episode of Spongebob, and did you know, like, it's it's, like, blacklisted now. You can't actually watch it. Uh, Paramount just like, is it Paramount that owns it or HBO? I think it's Paramount Plus. Uh, just like, like try desperately to remove it from existence, which is funny because why would I say try? Like I, I, I use my words very carefully there. Um, I mean the word try because it's come back twice now. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, the episode is, uh, the one where Mr. Krabs is having a midlife crisis and, um, Spongebob and Patrick are, are both, like, trying to get him back into the groove of things. And turns out Spongebob and Patrick are both nerds. Um, and so, you know, as the, as the episode progresses, oh, ow, that sucks. Uh, Mr. Krabs comes to the conclusion that, yeah, you guys are nerds and, like, uh, I, I would probably bully you if I was, like, you know, if we were both attending the same kind of school. So, um, but the, the real problem is then after that, in order to prove that they're not nerds, uh, Spongebob and Patrick both insist that they are going to go on some kind of weird raid where they go and steal underwear. 
and Mr. Krabs is like, yeah, that sounds like the business. That sounds exactly like what I'm talking about. That'll make me feel young again. And, uh, and then it turns out that they're, they're going to his mother's place to do this. It's a weird episode. You know, let's, uh, let's call a spade a spade. It's a weird episode, but that's... I feel like that is just Spongebob in general. Um, I honestly don't really care when it comes to, like... Oh my god, I died! Uh, I died, and then I... But I also got the reward to devotion. Except I don't get that because, uh... Okay, well, we're gonna try again. I'm gonna be a bit more careful. Oh god, those those guys really suck, don't they? I guess they they function properly as beholders because they seem to have the ability to just hit you with the death gaze. Um, but good to know that if I get hit with the death gaze, I could potentially get two devotion points. Not sure who that was with. I don't really care uh, if a company wants to like revise something. I know people get really huffy about it. it doesn't matter to me. If they want to take that episode down because they think it's in poor taste, that's fine with me. Um, my reasoning for why I'm cool with that, by the way, if you need to know, is, uh, and this is uh, like my general justification, is that if it pisses off someone if it pisses off a jerk that it's gone like what i mean by that is someone who likes that episode for all of the wrong reasons then i think it's probably a good idea like i'm in favor of any and all uh acts in this world that basically make bad people angry <laughs> what is a bad person really well i think you can figure that one out I don't need to explain that one. Okay, maybe if they, if I get hit with that beam, then I can get that status effect. Not that one. That's the rotting effect. That one. No, that's poison. That's gonna be flame. Um, let's take a Staria root. I'm gonna get hit with a lot of effects here. So I'll be able to heal myself, in theory. Oh, I'm on fire. Is that it? No. Uh. Okay, let's just wait this out a little bit. Not a fan of these guys, they're really tricky. And they take a lot of hits to kill. If I could get across this and summon a wolf right next to them, that would be really helpful. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, it, it seems like going hand-to-hand -hand with these guys is really not a great idea. Because they just hit you with every single status effect. Including, uh, ones that can apparently kill you. Large potion of healing. Well, that's fine. Yeah, we need, we need a wolf, and we need to hit this guy, like, hard. Ow, ow, ow. Do I have any water? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Um, we'll just let that be for now. I'm on fire more, actually. Oh, this is... This is, uh, miserable. I really enjoyed the, the last dungeon in comparison to this, to be honest. Already. But we're going to persist. 
I am trying in some weird way to uh, get that last status effect. So that I can get some devotional points. Uh, if I could spend them now, it wouldn't be a bad idea. That was rather mean of that shiny bug. Wow. Why are they turning into skeleton uh, skeleton heads? Flaming flaming doom heads, you know? Why is that happening? I'm clearly gonna have to be careful as I as I predicted in a previous episode, I'm not gonna be able to tank hit a lot of the enemies in this dungeon. Well, I say a lot of, really just one enemy. Clearly all of the other ones, um, I can tank hit. Okay. There's clearly a secret door nearby. This, uh, this dungeon has like all of my least favorite enemies, except for undead. Fortunately, it doesn't have undead in it, but I'm still being set on fire, so like... Okay, so there's Deathly. What happens when that fills up? Haha, <laughs> that's what happens. Is we almost die. <laughs> Reduce your health by 99% if it builds up to maximum. Holy crap. Okay, so don't let that happen, is what I'm hearing. I think it died. They resist bleeding. They seem to resist a lot of things. I, I don't like that creature. Just in general. I think they suck. I think they're bad. Okay. Really? I really just... Is there, like... I mean, obviously, if I had some water, I could just throw it on this fire, but I don't have any... I don't have it. So I'm just going to hold the... I'm just going to keep doing this. I might just hit the pause. I'll see you soon. Okay, I've tried my best. I've done my best. Uh, I guess it doesn't necessarily set me on fire, but I, I, I waited. I waited... I waited as long as I could, and I, I couldn't do it anymore. So, as long as I, this guy's not hitting me with his beam, I should be able to tank his hits. As soon as I see that beam, I'm going to take them a whole lot more seriously. There's a key there. Large potion of healing. Yay! Um, okay. Shortcut. Uh, where's our staircase down? Is that it up there? Did I, like, walk right past it? Yes, so I guess I did. The door at the bottom of the staircase is locked. You have to find the master key. What? I thought I thought I was trying to get down. Is this a dungeon that goes up? Okay, well, we'll figure this out. It's fine. Yeah, they really tailor made a dungeon that uh with all my least favorite stuff in it. Including a, a, mon a monster that I can't just tank. Yeah, I, I saw that secret door. I saw that the little bit of amber. Nothing useful. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Bro, that room is a big no. Oh, God. He made fire right, right. Oh, 
please go away. Okay. I saw you try and start that stupid beam. Oh, this sucks. Okay, convert. Nope, we don't have a status effect to convert. Uh, large potion of healing. Gonna be burning through those in this uh, dungeon, uh, that's for sure. Okay. As I say, as long as they don't have a beam, they're fine. If they have a beam, then we have to worry, and then I'll start using stronger stuff. Otherwise, I'd prefer to, like, conserve our energy. This is quite the room. Um, did we get the key that we needed, by the way? Didn't actually see that part. Oh, well, there's our staircase. Um, yeah, fill empty bottle. Uh, yeah, it gets a uh, flame resistant. Apparently they're resistant to everything. Uh oh. Okay, uh, don't panic. As long as it doesn't fill up, we're fine. Okay, we're, we're okay. We are on fire. Convert. Oh, there's definitely something in here. There's nothing in here? Hmm. Okay. So, apparently this is a dungeon that goes up. Oh, right, it's a tower. I'm a dummy. <laughs> it's a tower. It goes up. Of course it goes up. No, it don't go up. It do go up. All right. Nothing useful. 48, 47 guineas. More, lots of guineas. Come in here. I don't care for your invisibility. Okay, come in here, bud. Oh, did we already kill him? Good job, wolf. Really not looking forward to, like... I, oh, uh, this dungeon's gonna be anxiety-inducing because... Uh... Since there's creatures that can do a pretty good job of, like, thwarting me. I really do worry I'm going to get pretty far and then die. <laughs> but what's even worse than that is it's going to be my fault every time. <laughs> and what I really mean is that uh, I think that I'm powerful enough to complete this dungeon. I think that that is fair to say. I just need to take it seriously. Which I always do, of course. But you know what I mean. Like, oh, thanks, bud. Thanks for setting everything on fire. Ow. Why am I increasing in... Why? Stop it. Oh, God. All right, just drink a potion. Don't worry about it. Cool out. Chill out. Moldy bread. Get, eat some moldy bread. Actually, we could stand to eat some food. We only have moldy food. It's fine. I guess we can um, cure our uh, torpid effect. Is it bitter leaf? What cures rotting? Vines which grow to where there's a... Uh, removes torpor. Uh, what cures rotting? Stunned. Poison. A tuner? Negation. Nope. Stave off rot. There we go. That didn't really seem to help. At all. Okay. We don't have enough for a wolf. Fortunately, there's lots of things to beat on. 
to gain some energy for some more wolfage. This is uh this is now a furry build. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't help it if the, the 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 wolf is actually like peak, you know? There is one other summon I can get. I don't know how much do they cost. Well, we need three more points in um, the deathly whatever. The Jester's Death. I, I, I can't remember their name. There's lots of uh, amber bean oil around here. I'm, I'm grateful for that. And I'm not seeing any beholders on this floor, so that's actually really nice as well. Might be just that first floor is like the worst of this. Really had to say something, didn't I? Just go ahead and fight fight them, wolf, and I'll resummon you when you die. Don't worry. I'll resummon you when you die. Come on. Yep. All right. Good job. Wow, you really did quite a lot of damage there. I really appreciate that, wolf. Getting the most out of your wolf. 101. Step one. Let them fight the thing. Okay, unlike any every other dungeon, we were not, we are not going to be stepping through voids. Um, not helpful. It does not actually get us to the next floor. Okay, these these guys are not okay. Uh, we need to actually panacea. And oh, we need to Amber Bane. We have the means. We have more than enough of the means to stave off whatever stupid effects that these uh, new fangled creatures are going to inflict on us. So, you know, we don't really have an excuse. That's all we... What we're lacking is an excuse not to use them. I'm hearing traps. Ooh, that was this is a room. Okay, we got poise. We've got poise, we've got grace. We just got shot in the face. Uh leap into the void? No. And by default, please no in the future as well. Okay, so we need a uh that's a shortcut, so we need to get on the other side of that. You know, at times this game actually kind of reminds me of uh, Legend of Grimrock, which is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm just, honestly, I'm waiting for an excuse to do a playthrough of that game for the channel. It's it's a rainy day, rainy day kind of game, you know? Like, it really... I'm looking forward to playing it again. One of my favorites, to be sure. But yeah, the, the game uh, gives me some Grim Grimrock vibes occasionally. I know that Grimrock has a lot of influences in old games, probably including Ultima, but you know, like mostly blobbers and uh, old RPGs like that. AD&D, uh, uh, &D, Eye of Beholder, stuff like that. So I, I know full well where the influences from Grimrock are, but like also I feel like if you go further ba back, probably, I don't know if, how, like, where does Ultima sit? I feel like whenever I hear about Ultima, it's always as, like, mentioned as, like, one of the original RPGs. Ouch. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a secret here. I'm starting to suss out. Okay, this is not a great position to be in. 
Ow. So he drains me slightly, but I drain him right back. New enemies. Not a huge fan of these new enemies. Mostly because it means I have to apply thought to my combat. Uh, is there? Yeah, there's an there's a lad right in front of me, an invisible lad. Okay, let's throw a wolf in there. That was a that was a fun little bit of um, positional manipulation. I didn't really apply that on purpose, but I'm glad it worked out that way. Making some really good ground here. Any hidden doors? No. I do really appreciate this uh, ability that just like reveals hidden doors. Um, as much as I really enjoy like secret hunting in these kind of games, uh, I feel like secret hunting kind of relies on like it, it, it's sort of like um, in the language of the developer. Does that make sense? You know, like when it comes to puzzles, when it comes to secrets, uh, it, it's almost it's almost its own language, and it's very personal and specific to the language of the person who made the game. You know, maybe that language is based on influence, but uh more often i mean like and that's that's just true it's you know when we come to comes to anything artistic anything that evokes um it's gonna it's gonna have uh, a voice but it's also going to be reliant on like influence um and i think that it's fair to say that if you don't know if you the player don't know that language it's true it's fair to say you, you can learn the language but um, you don't necessarily, you aren't ex necessarily expected or should be expected to learn it. Um, sometimes, I, like I, as much as I believe and I appreciate uh, cryptic kind of puzzle solving, I also appreciate accessibility. And if something can't be solved, or at least it's difficult to solve by someone, I appreciate a helping hand. That's, that's all I mean. Like, all I mean is a helping hand, not like a guiding, you know, line. Uh, not like give me the answer as soon as I start to struggle because, you know, obviously struggle is part of what makes it compelling as a conflict, right? I'm sure none of this, uh, this is all like very much tangent, tangential. Uh, maybe none of it makes sense. But what I really mean is that if some, if you can't necessarily solve a puzzle i don't think that you should be blamed i don't think that it's you know you, you don't like it's the same argument as like uh, should there be um easy mode in dark souls i think that elden ring uh approached that with a lot of thought honestly i think that elden ring kind of did that elden ring did the dark souls with uh easy mode in some ways Maybe they all do. Maybe it's just like, yeah, I mean, they all have easy mode. Just use magic. But all I'm saying is that I appreciate when games um, have like a built in accessibility option that makes things not like face smash here mode. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to, uh, as someone pointed out in the comments, bump up against every single wall to see, you know, try and figure out where the... Uh, the, the secrets are now having played this for a bit i can i mean you know it's it's obviously this game's got some influence in rogue and rogue has very obvious tells when there's going to be a secret door sometimes it doesn't i mean sometimes it, the secret door is secret but for the most part most secret doors um are obvious when they're going to appear and it is very satisfying like figuring that out but you know, if you, if you never can, you know, some people just don't have the, like, you know, in the same way that I can miss an obvious button on the interface for, like, several hours that would make my life much easier. You know, some people are just going to, like, miss the puzzle. They're not going to understand it. They're not going to read it in the language that the 
developer or the creator intended and I don't think that that person should be shamed and I definitely don't think people should be shamed for using accessibility this has been obviously this is something I've been given a lot of thought lately because I think it's very easy for people to blame someone for not getting it you know like they 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 failed to get the thing they didn't play the game right they didn't you know they cheated themselves and uh kind of thing and um i just think that that's a really juvenile way of looking at it i think that that's un unfair you know it's just a game it's supposed to be fun um i think that you know people matter more than games and you can you can uh, you can hurt someone quite a bit by like something as simple as like mocking them for not playing it the way that you would necessarily play it this person is just running away i think that's one of the reasons i did the caves of code tutorials like you know for a long time i honestly i i started making the caves of cut tutorials before i even understood how to play the game um and the reason i even started working on them in the first place is because i saw that there weren't very good ones <laughs> like no offense to anyone like no shame thrown no shade um what was out there was helpful but it wasn't good enough and what I mean by that is like every single tutorial I saw for Caves of Code was like two hours long or an hour long. And that was just like kind of unacceptable. Um, and so like in the same, like, you know, I, I got to know firsthand. Oh, we break line of sight here. Okay, good. I got to know firsthand exactly how painful it was learning certain things. I mean, you, you need only watch my early series of Caves of Cut to see how many different ways I died and how many, how I, you know, didn't grasp how certain skills work and how I didn't understand how certain things worked. Um, you need only look at all that to understand why I made this, those tutorial series because I didn't really, like, I enjoy, you know, painful discovery, but also I acknowledge that that's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Something that really uh, I think about a lot, actually, is when I first started, um, when I was like really into Binding of Isaac back in the day. I, I promise this analogy will not will work even if you haven't played Binding of Isaac. Uh, Binding of Isaac relies kind of very heavily on the fact that you need to pick up an item or use an item in order to discover its true function and i really liked that when i first started playing binding of isaac i thought that was a lot of fun i loved that sense of discovery and i loved discovering synergistic effects um but you know and i i in the same way I, I do now, I, I wanted to share that game with as many people as I could. You know, all my friends, I was like, I, you gotta play this game. I'm talking about when it was like in flash mode, like it was in its original flash state, not like the rebirth version that we have today. Uh, and I had a few friends that were like, you know, that got into it. And then I had at least one or two friends that were like, Hey, I just got like the tarot card of uh, God. It's been so long since I played the game, like um, Revelations or something. I can't remember. Uh, whichever one that gives you spirit hearts. And he's like, "What does it do?" And I'm like, "Well, use it and find out." Like that's that's the game. And he says, "Yeah, but I don't like, you know, I used I used a card before and it put a whole bunch of bombs on the field and that wasn't very fun to me. So like." You know, just tell me what it does I'm like yeah but like you know now you know that that card drops bombs 
And they said, no, I don't actually, because I didn't even make a note of which card it was. So now I'm just like in this weird place of thinking that some cards drop bombs and some of them might be helpful. So I'm, I'm just asking. That had a, that chest had a devotional tear in it. Oh my God. So I told them, I, you know, I was like, oh yeah, I mean that drops spirit hearts. Um, and they were like, thank you. You know, like, I, uh, like, I, he, you know, obviously they explained to me why they wanted to know why they would prefer I tell them, but it's like, you know, thanks for just telling me. Cause like some people don't necessarily enjoy that painful learning curve of like, Hey, I'm going to have to reserve this to memory. And honestly, I'm at that point place now. It's one of the reasons I don't play Isaac anymore is because there's now like 900 items and I don't understand how a lot of them work still even after getting them like several times and it's like I, it's not fun for me anymore I need a I need a freaking encyclopedia uh to to know how to play this game and uh, you know my memory isn't necessarily that good so like just tell me and so like you know those there you know of course there are mods that exist that will just tell you and i think that that's basically how you should play isaac now i mean and like this is going to become a thing about isaac but like i think that that's you know one of the things that convinced me about oh I, if i'm not careful i'll jump into the void so i have to cure this um bitterleaf brew drink um it's one of the things that convinced me about accessibility in the first place is because you know when you think about it i mean accessibility obviously uh is a, just a form of making the game more accessible that makes sense right but also like uh navigating like helping people circumnavigate certain things that they don't like about a game in order to get to the parts that they do like about the game and if the game is good there's always going to be parts about it that are enjoyable anyway all of this only came about because i someone told me that there's a spell that just reveals secret doors and i really appreciate that um you know like i'm not always going to know where the secret door is and uh, it's kind of nice when I have like a suspicion I can just hit that button and that means I can get to the parts I enjoy. That was a lot. That was a lot from very little, but I, 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 I think we, I think we all gained something today, you know, maybe let me know in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> Let me just fish for for some engagement in the comments. What's your favorite form of accessibility in, in games? What's your least favorite form of accessibility in games? I'm trying to think of what my worst, my least favorite form of accessibility in games would be. I'll tell you, okay, um, when I mentioned before, I know this episode's running long, but this uh, dungeon is not easily cheesable. It's not easy cheesy, so uh, I gotta, you know, be breezy something something. I don't know. Um, I remember playing um, one of my favorite, I wouldn't say favorite actually, I just, I liked the game. I really liked Fable 1. Fable 1 had managed to have that like really cool kind of mysterious energy of like, you can go anywhere and you know there were cool things to discover and you know there's a bit of backtracking and uh all kinds of cool secrets and uh this is gonna be a nightmare but we'll get through it let's actually let's use a bloodstone i really don't want to yeah that does like no damage i have slam in case he starts to um hit me with that stupid beam Actually, I think I should use that now. Do we have water? We do have some water. Uh, I'm just going to let him be on fire for a second. And I'm also going to take a healing potion.
Oh, he died. Cool. Uh, oh god. Walked into the flame. Uh, I, I, I was looking forward to Fable 2 when it was announced and uh, eventually played it and I kind of didn't like it very much, mostly because it had a button on it that just told you where to go, like where your quest was. And, you know, I, I, I see that as a form of accessibility. And I acknowledge it's like, you know, maybe it's there and it's good for the same reasons as a mod that tells you what the items in Isaac does is good. But like, I just kind of thought it sucked. Oh, that's a new one. That guy is new. I don't like that. Um, I, th I thought it just kind of sucked all of the mystery out of the game completely and made it like made me not want to play it. Also, how come that game's not on PC? It just occurred to me. Fable 1 is on PC. Can you can you get Fable 2? I mean, I guess I mean specifically can you get it on Steam? Fable. Fable 2 is not on Steam. Neither is Fable 3. I guess uh is it's owned by Microsoft, isn't it? They, they they really want it to live and die on the Xbox. That's so weird to me. That doesn't make any freaking sense to me at all. Like, you'd think that Microsoft's main platform would be PC. Like, is that not the not the platform they tried as hard as they could to to kind of maintain? Why would they then make a new platform and then not make the game available on their old platform? I don't get it. I don't get it. It's weird. Honestly, a lot of the stuff that Microsoft has been doing lately is kind of weird, but eh. So... This is going to be a long dungeon. I honestly wonder if I shouldn't break it up into a second episode. Because we're still here and it's still going. Any secret? Yeah, there's a secret door over there. Uh-oh. Okay, I just want to get the wolf. Oh, no! Um, I'm gonna st I, I start shooting them because that actually does more damage. Oh my god, that's a lot of fire that just appeared. Uh. Okay, there's our exit. Need the small pine key. That looks like a new lad. Oh my god. Okay, large potion of healing. Um, let's, uh, slam them. Because I don't like my position right now. There we go. I was just gonna try and work on them until I, uh... Until I get enough for the wolf again. I like how they'll, like, dodge my arrow and then dodge back into the arrow. It's pretty good. We need to put some more Amber Bane oil in our ward because these guys throw madness on us. And I guess it doesn't matter if we have Amber Bane in our ward because they're going to do it anyway, but it's fine. We have Bitterleaf Brew. We'll drink that. Throw out our wolf. Ouch. Wow, this guy slams, huh? Oh, that's actually quite dangerous. Because uh, that means that he could knock us into a hole. That... Yeah, that's a secret wall right there. Ow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so enemies can just jump into holes. That's kind of fun. Um, I'm going to drink a, another potion of healing. I'm glad I've been like just buying those. Potion of healing. Ow. God damn. Oh, thank God I've got a lot of bitter leaf brews as well. Wow, there's no secret door here, huh? See? Sometimes I don't know. I'm um, kind of grateful I still had revelations for this part. You found a chest key. Yay. Arcanauts. Panacea. Oh, we got another one of those lads. Uh, so they have a stun beam. Trying to get away from them. So I can fight them in a slightly more advantageous area. I'll just like whoop. take some shots on them. Wow, they suck. Good Lord. Let's convert all of that. Um, it's, uh, getting a little bit spicy here, I will say. Drink a health potion or set on fire again. Wow, that does like so much damage. It's, it's kind of absurd how much damage that does to us. We don't have any more water, so I'm just going to have to heal potion this off. I guess we'll take a Staria Draft and then convert this. Okay, I officially don't like this. This sucks. Like, they're not coming over here. They're, they can hit us, like, faster than we can hit them. And, like, yeah, it just sucks, everything about it. I'd rather just, like, do melee, because then at least we can recover. What is this? Chest key. Uh, okay, we want to... Oh, my God, there's a long way. Oh, we're on fire again. That's cool. Oh, that's another health potion I gotta take. I think there's our doorway there. Still can't get through this, right? Need small pine key. I should have just went down. There wasn't really much way I could avoid that. To be honest. Um, I really, there's like no water around here and I am constantly on fire. Oh, this is a long episode. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to end the episode here. I'm sorry. I know it's like, uh, very much halfway through a dungeon but like that it is halfway through a dungeon i don't know how many more floors there are but uh what we'll do is we'll finish it off in the next episode and then when there'll probably still be time so we'll start probably the necropolis if not the necropolis what is the last one we have to do oh yeah the jest oh god the jest all right well <laughs> maybe we'll do the necropolis despite my uh, grievances with the undead uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.